Hi, Sagittarius. Love and light. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Ooh, full energy. Flowers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so flower and abundance. So there's some success lying ahead of you. Something positive. Something that's going to be emotionally fulfilling. So be open to receive this here. It says lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. Okay, so this is great, great. After, I feel like after much uh, struggle, you guys are finally like seeing the bigger picture here or you're, you've you finally overcame some form of obstacles in your life, some form of valley. It's like you coming right out of the valley and now you're able to see. You may identify or, uh, you know, be seeing like eagle energy or seeing eagles quite a bit or this is you seeing a, a having a larger perspective, seeing a bigger picture over your life. But either way, you're getting ready to soar towards your destiny and you have a greater clarity of about what direction your life is getting ready to head into so that's that's really good energy so we've got 111 you could be seeing 111 some of y'all could be seeing 1111 here with the full energy all right the full energy so it's like okay this guy has his dog with him and he's got a backpack okay so you <laughs> every time i see backpack i'm like backpack backpack <laughs> But it says, have the courage to embrace change, take risk, and be adventurous, all right? So don't be afraid. Some of y'all might be traveling to a new place or you're moving into a new space in your life, right? You know what it is that you need to do, but you might be feeling a little bit nervous about it. Don't be afraid, okay? Because whatever this new thing is, is coming towards you. Is You're going to love it. It's positive change, it's really positive change. So just make sure you're doing what you can to embrace it, okay? It says this card symbolizes a time of unlimited potential and the need to set forth on a new journey, one that is totally unknown and you could see in uncharted territories. Go, adventure awaits you. You may have felt as if you are in a rut or are scared of change. We just said that, right? It's time to take risks and be assertive, bold and daring. Get out of your comfort zone. A new way of living is opening up for you. Fresh experiences and a lot. Oh, and lots of travel will be presented. And most of all, you will be free from worry and burden. Okay? You have the ability, the strength and courage. So just a little bit of nervousness there for you all right don't be afraid so this is giving me like the world energy where like you end in some cycles now you're moving into a new cycle in, in your life a new time a new time period in your life yeah there really isn't any struggle about it except for you just getting out of your comfort zone and not being afraid and having the courage to step forward and do something new and different you need to really open yourself up to that Show me here. Let's get a money message for the collective. What can they expect? All right. Words of abundance. Abundance comes to you now. Make sure that you're thinking positive, right? Because that is the energy of like, so a man think if so a man is, right? Have You have the ability to manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words, okay? So just make sure you're thinking positively. And this says, focus on your priorities, okay? This kind of reminds me of Virgo Hermit energy here. She's holding this lamp. So this is you sitting down, I think, with showing, taking this lamp and taking a look at the things that are on your list, like, in the you know like what's in front of you write down a checklist or something you might need to do that and then really think about okay what's important to me is this going to help me get to my next goal okay well maybe it'll help me accomplish the goal that i have for the next three months right or maybe that doesn't help me accomplish anything right now so i need to reorganize uh some form or you need to reorganize right some priorities here it says where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome OK, your priorities are calling you. Um, your priorities are calling to you, which you may produce a, may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention that they and you deserve. OK, so if you want more out of something or you haven't been seeing any form of, of good outcome or like you invest in, are you putting the time and the effort and energy into it like you should? Make sure you're paying attention to that. OK, it says even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and feel more confident. So all you got to do is just 
commit to it. Com- decide what you want to commit to. Is that going to get you where you're trying to go? Yes, okay, good. No, okay, let's reorganize that. Let's reprioritize that, right? And just take the first step. All right. Uh, what else do we have for the collective? Good energy. Here, I'm going to change decks. <clears throat> Make sure you guys hit the like button for me or share this video. Subscribe to the channel. I am open for personal readings right now. If you need one, you can email me. That information is below in the description box, or you can just go directly, click the link the, to the Etsy shop to order a reading. What else? All right. Can the collective expect? So there's some information, something here about you having patience with yourself. Okay. Ooh. Okay, what was that? Yeah, you're definitely getting ready to go on a new journey. The thinking woman, again, that's that hermit Virgo energy. That's that hermit Virgo energy. You need to be thinking about where you need to you need to focus your priorities and then come out of some form of anxiety. Like maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. You don't know where to start or you might feel like you have too many priorities. Like if you feel like you have too many priorities, then obviously you want to make sure you're doing what's important to you to get you to whatever you were trying to accomplish, right? It's ask for help. Whatever it is that you need to do, I feel like all you got to do is sit down and really take a look at this stuff and you haven't done it or you've been feeling like really overwhelmed at the thought of even tackling that, right? Um, But you're definitely getting ready to go on a journey. Okay, we already have the full energy here. We have this journey. You're, <laughs> you're leaving. But, you know, you you might be a little bit afraid here. We have patience energy, and then we have our fifth chakra, which is your throat chakra energy here. You might have to tell somebody you're leaving. I don't know. It might be time for you to speak up for yourself, or you might be waiting on news. Like, you might need more details about something, and until you have those details, you're in a little bit of anxiety about it. But I feel like at some point, you're definitely going to get the clarity that you need to go go on this journey. All right, to go where you're supposed to go. Now, some of y'all, like I said, that's new travel. For some of y'all, it's just, you know, it could be anything here, you know. What else here for the collector do they need to be aware of? What can they expect? Ooh, serendipity. I'm telling you, you got a lot of luck around you. Remember that? Bottom of the deck is Yang, the number one energy. Um, this is be open to receiving energy. Be open to receiving. There's something significant here about being at home. Are you at home too much all the time? Or, or you might be traveling away from your home for some of y'all. Um, serendipity, where is that card? Because remember we saw abundance, yeah. It says, lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and, pri and um, prosperity. Be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Okay, the number 18, serendipity. So this is that lucky times ahead of you. You know, you might not, you might just be taking a carry on with you. Pack, make sure you pack light. Okay, because in both of these cards where these people are traveling, they're getting ready to go on a new adventure. They don't know what to expect, right? And they weren't able to take everything with them. They're a little bit nervous. They have a little anxiety about the situation because they don't know how it's going to go. Maybe they don't have enough information it is that they need. Maybe they even have to embark on this new journey alone, right? But even if you feel like you're embarking on the journey alone, this is not going to be lonely. You're you're surrounded by, you see all these orbs. You're. I feel like you're surrounded by people or you will be surrounded right, by the right people. Definitely your spirit team is going to be here to support you through this time. I do get that. <clears throat> Let's talk a little bit about love. What do we have for the collective when it comes to love? What can they expect when it comes to love? Did this energy come out yesterday? I feel like this energy may have come out yesterday. Whoa. 
transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So some of y'all, if you're in a relationship right now, your relationship is going to be transforming positive, in a positive way. Okay? Things could be getting better. You, it's, Your relationship is getting stronger. With someone you are, you know, maybe committing or putting a label on it or... Yeah, that's what this looks like. Let's see. Transformation. You and somebody here are apart from each other. Now, this could totally be like you haven't. If you're single, you may not have met the person that you're going to be with. And the two of you are going to be united and meeting each other somehow, some way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. So some of y'all are, there's some distance between you and your person and the two of you are coming together. Some of y'all that's emotional, some of y'all that's physical. There may be required some travel, but there is a en energy of coming together, like a togetherness. <clears throat> Trust transformation so there's something important for you to trust this transformation time it says transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform okay so i i, I do feel like it's an emotional time for you right now whether you're in a relationship or not just trust that you're going through a transformation period and positive things are going to come out of this and you'll be moving into alignment with love if you're single or you'll be moving into alignment and um you know transforming and transcending the current relationship that you're in let there be closeness between you but you always need to give each other space love never claims it simply allows and it gives so you and your person might be, like I said, have some emotional or physical distance. There's some some form of space between you. And if you're single, you're you're single. You you haven't met your person yet. Spirit is just saying, trust. All this is you know going to work out. Just accept things for what they are now and allow, right? Just to come in and be open to receive. <clears throat> You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. You see what I'm saying? So if you're in a relationship, then it could have been rough, right? And, and there's space between y'all and you come together some kind of way. I'm just feeling like a sense of togetherness. If you're single, you and your person are going to be coming together into some form of union, okay? Whatever is getting ready to happen next you're coming out of the turmoil, Six of Swords energy, moving on, coming out of whatever conflict, and a blessing is getting ready to be revealed to you. All right. Ooh, the Emperor popped out. The Aries energy. Show me more when it comes to love for the collective, please. The world, I told you, I felt world energy. Some of y'all are traveling the world here. Remember I told you earlier, like you successfully are completing some cycle in your life, but that following that closing out some cycles and walking away, you're starting a new journey, a new chapter in your life. But what comes with that is success, learning some lessons, you're coming out of turmoil. Um, this is good. Okay. I, I do, you could be a fixed sign. And I feel like this took a while. I do with the Knight of Pentacles being here. You could be an Aquarius, have Scorpio in your chart, Taurus or Leo. You don't have to be, but yeah, there goes that Five of Wands, that conflict. It's time for you to stop giving to some form of conflict or giving in. Yeah, I told you you're moving away. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Swords. I told you you're moving out of this turmoil. You're moving out of this conflict. You are. You really are. You're done with that. And you should be. Whether you're male or female. If you're a feminine, you're just in this emperor energy taking control of your life and getting your life back and taking the baby steps. It took you a while to get out of this energy. and um, But now I feel like you see clearly what this is and what's happening. You're like, okay, let me just keep pushing forward. Let me do everything I can. Um... Let me strategize and move methodically and with purpose and priority, right? What else do 
also we have for the collective when it comes to love. You know, you've been investing in yourself, but I feel like you're just kind of patiently waiting. Like, when is it coming? When is it coming? Seven of Pentacles. I put in the work. I put in the time. I put in the effort. I put in the energy. Okay. Queen of Cups. Look at you. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. <clears throat> That's been waiting on love. It's time for you to let go of some burden here. Remember I said earlier somebody here may be feeling overwhelmed busy or like just you need to just like oh there's so many things i need to do how do i tackle those priorities here but when it comes to love this is you i feel like strongly taking your life back getting out of situations you dealt with a lot of shit when it came to turmoil and love there was conflict and you're just like ready to do whatever it takes to get your peace back so you're ready to let go of this you put in the work and the effort and energy. Now it's time for you to let go of anything that's toxic. You got to let go of this detachment. You got to let go of these burdens, okay? Capricorn energy. Two of wands. What, what's going on here? Let's clarify. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah, you're walking away. <laughs> the eight of cups just flipped over. Let's clarify the two of wands. Three of Swords. Ooh, some heartbreak. Clarify the Two of Wands. Libra energy. Man, you're. I'm t I just feel like you guys are like so confused and heartbroken over something. You people may have put you into all kinds of stuff, you know? Third party stuff, drama. When I'm we're talking about love right now, I just feel like there is a lot of confusion and turmoil in your love life in the past, and you're trying to let go of this. You're trying to fight through it. You're doing what you can to stand up for yourself and be in this nine of wands energy, right? Standing your ground. But I feel like you feel like you're just tired now. Ten of wands energy, and you're ready to let this shit go. And it really looks like you're getting ready to let it go. It does. <clears throat> Or this is a could be a masculine needing to let go of something. Should clarify the devil energy here. Why is the devil here? Three of Cups. I told you some sort of toxic third party situation. Or um, show me more about this devil energy. Somebody that had you in some sort of yeah. Mm -mm. It's just a no. You're not going to do it anymore. The hangman, star energy. Um, you're just putting your boundary up and you're trying to heal and you're not no longer allowing yourself to be in certain energy. You're just not. You're cutting things off. You're thinking head over heart. I feel like when you showed up as this queen of cups energy here... You you may have waited on people to get their shit together and like you, you just don't need to do that anymore. You know what I'm saying? You're choosing not to do that and wait on people anymore. And you're just walking away from it all together. You're tired of the confusion. You're tired of the heartbreak. People putting you in third party situations and all of that. Um, and you're reflecting on that. You're over it. So show me more about this emperor. Yep. Show me more about this emperor. <clears throat> Somebody's learning a lesson, a spiritual lesson. Somebody is seeing something from a different perspective here. Somebody's trying to get themselves unstuck, too. They're acting like everything is okay, but they're not okay, right? And I feel like somebody went through a dark night of the soul here. This masculine did. Went through a dark night of the soul. Or this could be you, too, with the hey, man. Somebody's just learning a spiritual lesson um, and, and realizing something here. They're realizing something. Seven of Wands. Somebody's realizing the truth about something and standing up for their damn their selves. What's this hangman? Clarify the hangman. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Clarify the page of swords. 
Ooh, somebody won't. Somebody's watching you too. You may have somebody in your energy who feels like they want to. They feel abandoned, left out alone in, in the cold. This person wants to come back and return and talk to you. They've been watching you. They maybe they haven't been saying something here, and they want to bring some form of love offer to you. Okay, Knight Knight of Cups and the Five of uh, Pentacles in reverse. So you may have a masculine here who needs to end something. Um, their life might be in shambles, and there could have been a third party situation. Um, <clears throat> let me pull some message cards real quick. Show me more about this situation. Show me more about this masculine. Yeah, somebody does, this masculine wants to come out of, they regret, they feel some form of remorse for the way they treated you. And like I said, for some of y'all, that was them putting you in some toxic third party drama situation. You know, it was just a lot of confusion, illusion, heartbreak, deception. I feel like for some of y'all, for sure, um, this person's waiting for the right time, I feel like. And um, they've been leaning on their friends around them. But I feel like the people who was were there for them are not, not there for them. Finding out these people are not there for them anymore. Or they're finding out these people aren't really their friends like they thought that they were. Yeah. Somebody here, is, for some of y'all, somebody here has to walk away from a marriage. Okay. Time apart. Yeah, there's an imbalance. And so this person is trying to decide what they want to do. Show me more here about this decision energy. What's this decision about? So it's going to be your choice, I feel like, for some of y'all to decide whether or not you want to deal with a certain situation. Or this masculine is having make to make a decision about whatever this is. It's just not working for them anymore. And they try, or want to distance themselves from something because th th this person is not, the, the masculine is somebody else who they are, I don't know, t attached to or whatever. Some of y'all, this person is married to. Um, I just feel like somebody's coming to some form of acceptance. They regret what they did and they're accepting what they did here, but... <sighs> somebody's waiting for the right time to do something here. Mm, I don't know. Let's see. What else? Let's pull. Um. What does this person want to say to the collective? Sometimes I stay awake and think about you. This person's never loved anybody like they've loved you before. I left when I saw you with someone. So this person, for some of y'all, they think that you've moved on. You may have someone else. And they, yeah, so this person is like, I just need to let the collective go. We need to let each other go. I don't, they, they feel like they need to let somebody else go, but they're in regret and remorse for how they treated you. So I don't know what side of the fence that you're on in this situation. Um, cause it still seems like they're still holding on to the collective, but there's another situation they haven't let go of too. And they know thing they need to let go of that situation cause they're wishing things could be different between the two of you guys. They can't stop thinking about you and they're still attached to something else. But again, I just feel like this person still has some things that they need to do, some things they need to heal from, some stuff they need to take care of. Some of y'all here, this person has a low self-esteem and they were living a double life, okay? And they are a pathological liar. 
um, yeah, they hid behind material things. So this person hides behind material things. They do. That's part of their problem. Mm -hmm. Show me what else here for the collection. I'm in a committed relationship. Yeah, for some of y'all, they are in a committed relationship. Like I was saying, whoa. Will, will we ever make things right? I compare other people to you. You see what I'm saying? So they haven't been able to let you go, but they're still stuck over there with some other situation. Um, somebody feels they like they, they've been let down. They feel like they trusted someone and they feel like this person that they trusted just let them down. Hmm. I saved your text messages. So I have trouble with intimacy. Wow, this person, I want to start over. Somebody's having intimacy problems and issues in another connection. Because they're too busy comparing other people to you or comparing you to other people or whatever. And they just got to get this stuff in order with their own life. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a reading. You guys really could be dealing with any sign. We had uh, fixed sign energy. So Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, um, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, definitely here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. Judgment, Scorpio energy. The Devil is Capricorn energy. Um, but the thing is, you do collect, if you do have something good coming in, you're getting ready to travel and go on another journey, or this masculine could be doing that. I don't know. Either way, the message here to start out with was trust that you're going through some form of transformation right now. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So you're in good luck energy and transform transforming. There's a distance between you and somebody else, and but they it doesn't appear that they have it together yet. So, but you're gonna be embarking on a new journey, okay? So I love you guys. Hit the like button.